Hello guys, in this video I want to show you example how to find the partial fraction expansion for this particular fraction x plus 1 to the 4th. So we have a fraction x over x plus 1 to the 4th. And I think you learned that uh, if you want to find the partial fraction expansion it means I want to find uh, the following form of my fraction as a over 1 plus x plus b over 1 plus x and the whole thing squared plus c over 1 plus x cubed and plus d over 1 plus x to the fourth. I'm not going to explain in this video why uh, we have this form, but our goal is to find our unknowns a, b, and c. Or, oh, and d. Sorry, d. Yes. And I know a lot of you don't like partial fractions, but I love them, especially this particular example. Okay, why do I like this example? If you're going to try to solve this example by using uh, the method, like say, like method one, which you uh, you have been shown in like in your high school, college, university method one. So what this method says? It says we need to find the common uh, denominator for right hand side. So what we're gonna get? We're gonna get something similar on the right hand side. We're gonna have a fraction of one plus x to the fourth, a one plus x to the cube plus b one plus x squared plus c 1 plus x plus d then I need to expand each of this fa uh, how it's called I forgot term each of we need to expand each of this term and then we need to say this is equal to the left hand side and left hand side is x x plus 1 to the fourth and then we need to solve the system of linear equation. System of linear equation. And this method is going to take a lot of time. Yes, there is another method, and I'm going to show you method two, and this is going to be an extended version of method two. And method, this method says that what we can do. We can see that on the uh, left-hand side we have x plus one to the fourth. So what we're going to do, we're going to multiply both sides by x plus 1 to the 4th. What I'm going to get? On the left hand side, I'm going to get x plus... Uh, I can see if I'm going to multiply d one over 1 plus x to the 4th, I will have just d. But for each fraction a, b, and c, uh, since I have only first power, second power, third power, I'm going to left on the top with the term 1 plus x. And everything else is going to go to term P. And I don't care about P because my goal is first to find to find D. And here what I'm going to do, we can take a look at if I will set X to be equal to negative 1, then this term is going to be equal to 0. So what I'm going to get, I'm going to get that uh, D equals to minus 1 and we found our d okay and then what we want to do we still have our coefficients a b and c but what i'm going to do with this example uh, in this case i know that i have my left hand side and my left hand side is x over x plus 1 to the fourth but on the right hand side I know that my d is already equals to negative 1. So let's move like this fraction to the left hand side and see what I'm going to get. I'm going to get plus 1 over 1 plus x to the fourth equals and they have the same denominator so I will have x plus 1 over x plus 1 to the fourth and I can see that x plus 1 got cancelled so we'll have just 1 x plus 1 to the third. But wait a minute. What do I have on the right hand side? On the right hand side I have a 1 plus x plus b 1 plus x squared plus c 1 plus x cubed. And what I just did, I simplified my original partial fractions to his son, I don't know how it's called, like to the smaller partial fractions when we have just third power. 
and then we can perceive the same way. Right now we can find our C, and C I will have just, uh, I'm going to multiply left and right hand side by x plus 1 cube, so we'll have 1 equals C plus x plus 1, and let's say this is P1, no, P2, and this is P1. So from here I can see again x equals negative 1, so from here C equals to 1. Awesome, I found my D, I found my C, so let's just keep going and find other terms. I'm gonna move, uh, okay, I know this is C, and C right now is equals to 1, or it's equals to 1 over here actually. And I'm gonna move this to the left hand side, and what I'm gonna get? If I'm gonna move this on the left hand side, I will get uh, 1 uh, plus 1 minus 1 plus x cubed, so we'll have uh, 1 minus 1 x plus 1 cube equals to uh, 0 over x plus 1 and I actually can see that the whole fraction is equals uh, to 0 and on the right hand side I have a 1 plus x plus b 1 plus x squared and from here I can conclude if I will multiply uh, by uh, left and right hand side by 1 plus x squared, from here I can conclude that b equals to 0. But when b equals to 0, I will, follow, I will get that a equals to 0. And we are done. So what we just found, we found that x, x plus 1 to the 4 equals to 1 x plus 1 cube minus 1 x plus 1 to the fourth and trust me when you're doing this problem on your test or when you're doing this problem just for fun I spend a lot of time just talking and trying to explain but if you're gonna just straightforward do this problem you will solve this problem like in 20-30 seconds especially if you're going to do computation in your head super fast. So you can see that the partial fractions are not as scary as you think. You just need to find the right approach to find them. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoy watching my videos. And last thing that I want to do when I do math, I like to make, I forgot how it's called, ablaka, uh, a bubble. I like to make a bubble, yeah. I hope you enjoy this video and you enjoy how I found the expansion of the partial fractions. And thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.